You want to lead? You start and I follow. All right. So the idea for Courage and Store happened about halfway through last year. We were in our store. This store was empty. And as a joke, we're like, why don't we become our neighbors? So I don't think we would have continued our relationship with Rockford Property Management if it didn't go well the first time. So it's been so easy to work with them that switching over to a second location and leasing two from them made like perfect sense. Yeah, absolutely. I think working with them made it a breeze on getting in here. They knew what we wanted. They really understood what we were bringing to the community and they offered a lot of resources. Great people to have. We like them. Yeah, like them on your team. Yep. My goal was to have a boutique or a store that felt really inclusive. Whenever people walk into a boutique, it's like, okay, this is so expensive. I can't find my size. So my goal was to be an affordable option with sizes from small to 3XL in the same design of clothing. So you don't feel like, okay, I can only wear this because I'm a certain size. So there's way more inclusive and it ranges such a wide scale. And we're trying to have this store be where you can come in and buy an outfit and not just a shirt. Um, I really hate walking into a store and seeing everything I like and having only to pick one and then that thing lives without, it always feels like it's missing something. So what we're hoping is, is that this will be a store that you don't have that feeling when you leave. Growing up, um, I'm more of an introverted person. So I always had this saying that courage doesn't always roar as kind of like a motivational thing to me be, to be like, you can be courageous, you can be whatever you want to be. You don't have to fit that same mold. And we were at a concert, one of the first concerts back after lockdown, after the pandemic. After the yeah. pandemic. Well, yeah. <laughs> we were at a concert and we saw this bird flying and Alex is like, you know, like birds are so cool. They can like soar everywhere they want. And we saw that it was a pigeon. And you're like, but even pigeons fly, even pigeons can soar, they're not pretty. They're like rats of the sky. But it kind of came to be like, not all lions roar, even pigeons soar. Courage Yeah, we were and driving soar. home and you, yeah. you said, she's not she's being humble, but we were driving home and she was trying to come up, we were thinking of names, coming up with everything. And uh, you said even pigeon soar, because I was jealous of the bird, it had a better seat than we. We were in the nosebleed section. <laughs> so that's why we were infatuated with it. Not only should you be coming down here to shop and see what's new and get a pulse on the Grand Rapids community and the artist, one thing you should really do is also make sure that uh, you stop in and see what events we are having. We're doing everything from classes on how to build these lights to we will have a first of its kind virtual scavenger hunt that will be activated on any phone. You can walk up to it, you tap it, and it'll immediately start you on a scavenger hunt around the city. Um, we have multiples of these planned. First one's gonna be a walk through the city just with backgrounds um, so you can take selfies. We're gonna have walking art tours, but all of them are gonna be built around the businesses in the downtown and the stories that we're hearing and collecting in our stores. And so while we've had, got a few of them planned, a lot of them are, are, we're excited once we share with people what it looks like, um, you're gonna be able to come down and start your own quest and hopefully other people will wanna get involved and we're gonna give the tools on how to make that and have this be like a little launch pad for that idea as well.